Right, quick video on how to use the menu system on a year so 817. I know people, I speak to people who have bought these transceivers and they find it a little bit daunting uh, to find the way around menu system. They struggle a bit at first, but it's easy enough once you get to know how to use it. Now I got my first 817 in 2006 I've owned one ever since a friend came along to the radio club where I used to be a member and threw a piece of wire just a random length of wire over a tree he had an Ellicraft T1 tuner went on 20 meter sideband and I thought mm, okay this is going to be difficult and he started working stations that's it hooked from that day on okay so the menu system the button we're interested in is this button here, marked F, for function. Now, a short press of that controls what these buttons at the front do, A, B, C. Okay, short press of the F button. A long press takes you into the menu system where you can change things like put your antenna on the rear, change your microphone gain, um, you can do all sorts of things so let's have a look so a short press and you can see at the bottom of the screen i've got power uh, the b button does the meter i'll leave mine on that once i've got everything set for the simple reason the center of the display there you got three bars that's the radio set to two and a half watts We're okay so just press this again as you can see on the a button I've got power, right? So press of that, two bars, that's one watt. Press of that, you've got one bar, that's half a watt, or 500 milliwatts. Another press of the A button, no bars, it's on five watts. That's the full output of this transceiver, really pushing the power out, okay? Leave mine on two and a half watts mainly. The B button controls what the meter does. So let's have a look. So press of that shows you power out. Another press of the B button. You've got ALC, which is really useful if you're using data modes, digital modes, PSK31, J665, JT9, the new kid on the block, FT8. You don't want no ALC showing, so you can want here ALC. Another press, and uh, SWR, it's got an SWR meter in, and of course your modulation. Okay, so let's have a see. You're on HF. You've got a really strong station. He's giving your front end some grief. Okay, he's overloading your front end a little bit. Short press of the F button. Now, if I use the select to scroll round, noise blanker, AGC, uh, intercept point optimization. B button there is going to do attenuator. C's button is going to do narrow. If you want to use narrow FM on repeaters. Okay, so another press of that. Just put a bit of volume on. Listen to the receive noisy the b button there listen the attenuator is on there look okay it's uh, not as sensitive with that one makes it much more pleasant to listen to stations okay so you've got, so you've got all sorts in there for your repeaters your repeater your tone etc right your memories so i pretty much leave mine on that all, all time once i've got my menu set up i just leave it alone so that's a short press a long press of the function button takes you into a menu. Menu number 46 there, SSB mic gain. And use your VFO. Probably see it changing. Okay. One thing about YSO radios, and I think this is most YSO radios, if not all of them, I'm on menu number one. Let's turn that down, you don't want to listen to that, you probably hear enough of that. Menu number one. The menu system is in alphabetical order. AM mic gain, AM step, antenna, front and rear. No, it's on the front of the 817, BNC connector. There's an SO239 on the rear. You're activating SOTA, something's on the air. You may have plugged an antenna into the front of the 817. That's on rear antenna. So menu number seven, quick turn of the FO, you're now on front antenna. Put it back again. Easy peasy. Okay, so the select goes through your menus, 
all sorts in there battery charge beat frequency beat volume uh, color change of color if you like the nd's got three colors the 7 only has two okay so you got all sorts in there that you can change that's with a long press long press again out will come of the menu system i tell you what i'll do underneath this video i'll list my menu settings of my 817 but just know these are for my transceiver yours might not be exactly the same but i believe it's a pretty good start okay as i use this for for all sorts am fm ssb um, all the digital modes even use it to send sstv okay so hopefully that's of some help to some people any problems my email address is good on qiz.com so thanks for watching and have fun with this fantastic little transceiver 73 Chris M0 RSF